So this question looks like it's going to be a translate word problem question. Um, so again, a lot of students see questions that are this long and immediately get intimidated. I like the strategy translate word problem because what it does is it, it kind of incentivizes you to never simply read the entire question. And instead, you're going to stop after every sentence, maybe even before full, before fully reading a sentence to write down any quantitative information. So this question says, in order to determine if treatment X is successful in improving eyesight, a research study was conducted. All right, pretty straightforward, makes sense, nothing to write down. Next sentence, from a large population of people with poor eyesight, 300 participants were selected at random. All right, so now I have some quantitative, so I know we're talking to 300 people. Half of the participants were randomly assigned to receive treatment X. Okay, well, out of that 300, then 150 um, received treatment X. And the other half did not receive treatment X, right? So, right, so the, this other 150, no X. The resulting data showed that participants who received treatment X has significantly improved eyesight as compared to those who did not receive treatment X. Based on the design and results of the study, which of the following is an appropriate conclusion? Okay, so then here we're going to just say eyesight got better. So my up arrow just means improved, right? Whereas here, it didn't say that eyesight got worse. It just didn't get better, right? So I'm just going to do a flat line in terms of the eyesight. Not better, not worse. So based upon this study, so choice A says treatment X is likely to improve the eyesight of people who have poor eyesight. Well, what do we know? Um, yeah, so all 300 participants were chosen from a population of people who have poor eyesight. So yeah, it, it would seem that treatment X did improve eyesight. So I like choice A. But again, anytime you get yourself in a mode of process of elimination, never choose an answer right away. So A sounds good, but maybe one of these other answers is better. Choice B, treatment X improves eyesight better than all other available treatments. Well, that can't be the case, especially not from this study because we didn't try any other available treatments. So choice B is out. Choice C, treatment X will improve the eyesight of anyone who takes it. Um, well, that's also not true because um, what do we have in the question? It says the resulting data showed that participants who received treatment X had significantly improved eyesight as compared to those, right? So, you know, it says significantly improved. I don't necessarily know what that means. I'm going to leave this here for right now. Um, I don't like words like anyone, everyone, all, never, right? So pay attention to those types of words, especially on the math section and really every section of the SAT. Um, those, those answer choices tend to be incorrect, right? Because to say that it will work on anyone, well, that I'm using only a certain population, right? So I don't know who that population is. I don't know anything about their age. I don't know. I don't really know anything about the population. So to say, to say that treatment X will work on anyone's eyesight, um, is probably not true. So in fact, I just convinced myself that I should cross out choice C. Choice D, treatment X will cause a substantial improvement in eyesight. So once again, this term substantial, and it's not even qualified, right? Improvement in eyesight for, for who? For anyone, for everyone. We don't really know that, right? Because all we know is if you have poor eyesight and you take treatment X, you're expecting an improvement. So choice A is the best answer of the bunch here.